to staying on. It's still Breakfast Live on GTV. We are spending time once again with the Minerals Commission as we do most Wednesdays. And we'll be trying to unpack something from last week's conversation. We looked at critical minerals. Today we want to talk about what opportunities exist in the mining space for Ghanaians. And the Minerals Commission CEO, Mr. Martin AC is sitting with us once again. You can follow this entire conversation across our social media platforms, GTV Ghana. You can also connect with the Minerals Commission via their social media handles. They're on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, everywhere. Look for Minerals Commission Ghana. Mr. AC is with us now. Good morning, sir. Thank you for making time once again. I understand you were in South Africa the past few days. Yes. What was happening there? Oh, we went to uh, discuss this seminar. Again? Yes. We need to get ready. Okay. Yes. What lessons are what, what notes are a we A lot, preparing? a lot. Uh, particularly how to tap into the entire value chain. Okay. Yes. Billions of dollars. Yes, billions. In that sector. Yes, billions. So we talked about that last week. We talked about all the, 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 the manganese and all the others, cobalt and lithium and what it could add to us. It sounded a bit far-fetched for those who do not have that kind of reach. But within the mining space, there's room for everyone, especially the regular Ghanaian on the streets. Are these opportunities that you talk about those that we need to create as Ghanaians or do they already exist? Tema, good morning. And then uh, good morning to uh, viewers. Maybe you have to say listeners too because some are listening while they are driving. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to spend the next month or so, perhaps two months, because we come every week to discuss the opportunities in the mining sector for Ghanaians and then the measures we've taken or we are taking to make sure that uh, Ghanaians benefit from the exploitation of our mineral resources. Uh, let me start by breaking them into three segments. The first one I want to touch on, we might not necessarily finish today, the kind of skill sets and training that our brothers, our sisters, or if you like, the students out there need to know or need to have for them to get a job in the mining sector. It's so important. What kind of training do I require? Knowledge, technical skills, degree, whatever, certification do I need to get in there? I will spend time on that this week and next week. The second one is the actual mining itself. Okay? How do I, as a Ghanaian, get to pick up a license to do some exploration or mining? Can I do it alone? How is the process like? Uh, are there opportunities for joint ventures, etc.? So we'll talk about the mining proper, exploration and mining, the opportunities that are in there for Ghanaians. Then the third segment will deal with the support services. That is, for somebody... He's not interested in getting a job in the mine. Let's say being employed and working, let's say, full-time at Goldfields or, let's say, Newmont. He's also not interested in picking up a license to do exploration or mining. But he wants to provide some other services to the mine, which maybe he has some expertise. Maybe I want to supply fuel. I want to provide catering services. I want to do haulage. I want to do contract mining. I want to go into fabrication. Maybe the person owns a small business, he does welding and fabrication. What is in need for him? So these are the three categories that we'll be discussing for the next two months or so. It's quite loaded, extensive. The skill set, and then the support services, and then the actual exploration and mining. Okay. Yes. So we start from perhaps the bottom and we rise to the top. Can I put skills and training at the, at the entry level of any of these opportunities we, we will be discussing? Gemma, thank you. And for me, that's everything. Uh, it's unfortunate. Maybe, I, I guess last week you, you, you did a hint that we'll be discussing skill set. So let me just dive straight into it. Uh, for the skill set, I'll break them into three. The technical skills, the one that we have been joking with and playing with in Ghana over the years. Meanwhile, those are the areas that, you know, the jobs are. The technical skills, the apprenticeship, and those trade skills. I'll talk about a few of them. Okay? And then i also talk about the, if you like, the middle level. The HND, 
and even the degree, how you get in at the middle level, because nobody will employ you as a mine engineer and make you a mine manager straight away. You need to go to certain certification or have some experience. So we'll talk about the kind of skill sets that are required, if like for the middle level. Okay, let's say first from school, university, you get in at that level. And then of course, the very high level one, where you need to work for some number of years. And typically we target the Ghanaians who are here and also those who are outside. So let me start with the technical skills. And Terma, for me, this is where as a nation, we've done done too well. I know there's a lot of work being done. But if you ask me, it's more of about our mindset and perception. If I do a survey here and I ask all the parents or people who are working in GTV here, and I ask them, if your daughter or son should finish, let's say, SS or GSS, do you mind if you should go to, let's say, Accra Technical Training Center? or Takwadi Technical Institute to go and acquire these trade skills and technical skills? Trust me, maybe 9 over 10 will say no. Everybody will be looking at the degree, and that's where the problem is. So the, the technical skills, that's what the miners or the mining companies require. What are the areas that they normally look at? For instance, they like this, those who do this mechanical stuff. Now the mechanical, I need to break it into two. We have the mechanical engineering that they do at Poly. Do you understand that? Eh, HND, I hear now his degree. And then the one they do at the university, maybe Ashesi now is doing some, UMAT, and then uh, what do you call it? KNUSC. That is different. Here I'm talking about those mechanical technicians, those who go to ATTC or Takwadi Technical Institute and go and do those mechanical stuff. When they finish, they give them this technical certificate. Do you understand that? I think they do the same thing for electrical. Okay? That is the kind of thing I'm talking about. So, these new mines that are coming up, for instance, the one in Cardinal, and the one uh, Cardinal is building in the north, then the one that is ongoing at a half or north, and then the Legion that will come up in Azuma, they will need these technical skills. So, our brothers who are doing welding and fabrication, mechanical engineering, and electrical at Accra Technical Training Center, Takradi Technical Institute. Those are the basic things they need. So this is the low level. And normally they take people who have finished, let's say, uh, uh, GSS to the technical school or sometimes O level that they don't do too well and then they take them there. And then don't make that mistake. When you get those certification, you get a job at the mine. Later on, you can transition to do HND, mechanical engineering, and later on, even do a top up at the degree. So, uh, I'll give you one of the finest examples I have. So, I have this young boy, I think he should be in his late 30s or so now. Uh, he never went to secondary school. Okay? So, he went for this mechanical trade certification. And then he got a job at the mine and work i think in golden star or so for so many years i think the video and co are rolling uh, i want to demonstrate the kind of things okay. that they so do so let's let's have that uh, as i'm I talk. seeing it but yes perhaps. so you see uh this is why engineering why you typically when he didn't go to secondary school he went to takradi technical institute and this welding and fabrication today this high has end up this is his own factory started if you like let's use Ghanaian language small and now he has built a factory for himself. Do you understand that? Yes. So this is his own factory. So you see, these kind of technical skills are offered at ATTC, Takwadi Technical Institute, and many of these trade schools that we have. And these are the kind of things the mining companies want to employ. You see? And what I want people to understand is that when you start this kind of stuff, so he gets a job. Almost every mining company has employed him, and these are the kind of things they build. So they go and do, so for instance, uh, Katina, many of these things will be done by him. This guy was trained in Ghana? Takwadi Technical Institute, one course at any school. This is own, he has this factory now in Takwadi, and he's training people. He didn't go to secondary school. So he's training people there, okay? After this, he will get a job in the mine to build some of this stuff for them.
So the, when you finish, the money companies will have to employ people now to manage and maintain them. So they could hire some of the people he trained at his factory in Takradi, or they will go to ATTC or this technical school and then go and employ them. So we call them trade school. And you can build yourself over the years. So they give you this technical certificate. So you work like three, four, five years. You can do a top up at uh, the polytechnics. Now they call them technical universities. Or the, some the, of these. And I, I, I want to wrap up with this gentleman I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So we have employed him as an inspector for machinery. Because you see, if you go to the mine, you find all this machinery, heavy equipment, and all this stuff there. So you need people to operate them, to maintain them. So if you're an inspector, machinery, administrative commission, when you go to the mine, you need to go and inspect and make sure that all these things are in order, health and safety-wise. So he started trade school, basic, work in the mine, you know, at the maintenance section. He has even brought expertise, you can see the picture. And then after a while, he went and did a top-up. Then he ended up with a first degree in mechanical engineering. Okay? This is somebody who anybody will employ. They will prefer this person than somebody, for example, somebody who has finished BSc. Like after SSS, you go straight to any of our universities and go and do BSc mechanical engineering. Okay? And then you go and look for a job in the mind of this gentleman. He will beat you. Because he now has a degree. He just did a top up, I think two years or so. And he has gotten a BSc in mechanical engineering at KNUST. He started this trade certificate. Okay, the technician one, two, he has experience in the mine. He has worked almost about eight or nine years or so. So we have hired him, and then he's in our Takradi office. So when the inspectors are going around, he goes with them. He has a degree now, and that is the kind of thing we are talking about. So you, we shouldn't, we are too obsessed with university. Okay, you started, and that is where the Zimbabwe people beat us. If you go to Australia now, Western Australia, which is the largest mining hub in the world. Trust me, many of the expatriates from Africa, you are likely to find uh, 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 citizens from three countries dominating. South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Ghanaians. Many, the Zimbabweans are more because they believe in this apprenticeship. Okay? Age 16 or 15, you start this apprenticeship thing. You understand? Eh? So, by three, four, five years, you are okay. So, if Wayo should carry many of these people who have finished SSS and he's training them, it takes them to, let's say, Cardinal or Newmont to go and build these plants. By the time they will finish their plant in a year or two, the, the mining company will employ them. Why your system seems like a very well-structured company and the training he's, he's offering, if I'm going, I'm to go by the, mm. the pictures that I, I'm seeing now mm. on my screen, mm. then it's a very sophisticated system. Oh, not necessarily. Not, remains not, that not, not sophisticated. Look, somebody who has just finished maybe DSS or SSS, so, but our, he, our, he can take you, train you like two, three years. Then minds will hire you as, I, I as a trade a technician. That is it. That's a fantastic thing that, that he's So is it what like we call TVET or CVET or whatever? The TVET schools are struggling. What's the connect between these mining companies who will require these services um, and the technical schools so that they are better equipped to train the, 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 the young people in the way that the minds require? Because the struggle... For even regular schools is there. There's a struggle for TVET schools. The STEM schools really need a lot of help. Is there a connect yes, in so, the mining so space to help? We have started enough with the degree one. I'll explain the degree one, and then the next one is a technical institute. You see, currently, this is what is working in the mining sector. All those who are studying the mining and mineral-related program and geosciences, so let's say mining engineering, mineral engineering, electrical, mechanical, geomatics, metallurgical engineering and then uh, mechanical engineering okay at KNUST or UMAT they go first year during the long vac they go to the mines now the law backs out it's mandatory the mining companies will have to do that so they go to the mining company to go and get attachment practical attachment some of them also come to minerals commission okay and we take them to the mine then second year they do the same thing third year the same fourth year the, the same so by the time you finish your bachelor of science in engineering let's say in mechanical engineering or mining engineering you have one year practical experience you're already exposed so many of our mining related programs or students that are coming out these days they're employable 
because of the attachment. I mean, our time, uh, uh, university students will only see, or when they finish, they get they are fortunate to get a job at their mind. That's when they even see a mind for the first time. But now, a first year student, second year, they know what goes into their mind. So that is working perfectly. The law backs up. We've asked every mining company to submit to us the list of all those on attachment and the university students that are going through your hands. Okay. And then when they finish, many of them do their national service there. So every two, three months in a year, you go there. By the time you finish your four-year degree program, that's a lot of skills acquired mm. to attachment. But that's at the mid-level. But is that also available? Uh, hang on, the hang on, I'm coming. And I want to complete this bit because it's all part of the skill set. Okay. And then when you finish, many of them take them for national service. We also do. And then after that, they have another level. Now they call it a graduate training program. So you stay in there for an additional two years. So maybe new ones can say, I'm taking about 20 people after national service. They will train them. So after the two years, they will hire, let's say, five. So the other 15 or so left, Minas Commission will take them as junior inspectors so that they will go through the ranks. Last year, we took about 10. Some of them go to the other mine. So all those who are going through those graduate training programs now, clearly, by the time Azuma, Lithium, Cardinal and Kobe are ready, they will just transition. They are employable. That's, that's one level. So maybe we can say middle level. Now we are now entering into this phase now. So we're going to have an arrangement with the Chamber of Mines and then the mining companies so that those from ATTC, those from Takwadi Technical Institute that are doing this trade courses and mechanical courses that are required for the mines, especially welding and fabrication, electrical and instrumentation, and the mechanical engineering, they go there for attachment. So we are getting to that level now. So that by the time he will finish his is it two, three years and get that technical certificate from ATT or Takwadi Institute, he's already exposed to the mine. He's been to Newman like uh, three months for the every year, or he's been to Goldfield. So by the time you finish, he's employable. So we are going to focus on this now. Enough with the degree one, which is working very well. So these are the critical areas, and it's all about STEM. So that is what we have started. And then uh, the then Obuasi and the great Sam Jonah, they used to have a very big training school. Now, I think somebody has taken it up, and between Minas Commission, that uh, 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 institute, and then AGC, we're trying to set up the wild type of thing. You, you, you shouldn't have it only because this is his own initiative, this is his own company. Eh, yeah. We should have it so it will become like a center of excellence for us to train people in apprenticeship and then these trade skills. And the and entry then, and then, requirement will be basically. Yeah, yeah, I mean, GSS, GSS, or maybe after SS that you didn't do too well or something, or you want to go there straight. But you see, please, the perception that it's people who didn't do no, too well. No, let, me, let me finish. Well, no, that's a mistake. Okay. So they can go there and spend like two, three years there. So from there straight to their mind. So we'll be working with the the licensing authority. Is it CVET or TVET or whatever? So that they go and look at that place and license them. So you finish GSS or SSS, you go there like two, three years, get those certifications straight to their mind. In Zimbabwe, it works very well. They call it apprenticeship. And can you imagine? Those are the people that come here as expatriates from South Africa. Okay? I've just sent you a job. And uh, maybe let me just read the requirements to you. And this is new month. Uh, I send it to your WhatsApp. Yes. And I'll read the requirements to you right away. Then we can look at, the, we can discuss the perception thing, which is a huge issue. Right. Um, so full description. I have that on my screen so, now. So, so, uh, Mechanical maintenance, the role is, yeah? Yeah, that's a second. I, I just want you to see the qualification they want. Okay. Um, skills, training, opportunities in the mining sector for mm -hmm. Ghanaians. These are entry-level issues Mr. AC is talking about. So if you've completed junior high, or you've completed senior high and you're still undecided but you you have an inclination to go into the mining space then all the welding and fabrication and the other courses that you could read in these technical schools across the country could prove to be the best place for you we are talking about how you can use as as little as a junior high school certificate so, as a so springboard to get into another space that will end you into the mines and that's what we are discussing so Tema, let me take you to space. this advert mm. so it, Nimon says they want and there are a lot of them this advert is running so they said 
mine maintenance, mechanical technician. This is New Month Ghana, several of them. Listen carefully. And then he mentions a rule, mechanical maintenance. So basically, you'll be in the workshop, and then they've listed, and uh, the, I want to take you to the skills and experience checklist. He said, formal qualification, mechanical engineering technician certificate. Mm. They are not asking for HND or degree, mechanical engineering certificate. Mechanical trade training, uh, mechanical trade training, comma apprenticeship. Then he says, Mincom certified as inspection. As inspection you know, it's an, an engineer. Hey, so, for example, the one that is in Obuasi, that school, we are going to certify. We have okayed it, mm -hmm. and then we'll get uh, the licensing authority in, in, under the Ghana law to also certify it. So, if you go and spend two years there and you do that training, they will hire you. Now, this is not degree job. So it says, let me repeat, mechanical engineering technician certificate. Then it says mechanical trade training and then apprenticeship. Now, these courses eh, are organized at ATTC, Accra Technical Training Center, Kokomimi, and then Takwadi Technical Institute. I'm not talking about our uh, uh, polytechnics that have now become technical institutions. Degree, they also have their level. Mm. Uh -huh. So, a lot of these people are needed at these new operations coming up. Uh, this new mine, new month, is going to spend one billion to build in a half, of, and then the lithium mine, because almost all of them operate a lot of machines. Okay, a lot. You know, even those who do this, who handle all those machines, repair works, troubleshooting maintaining them and all those yeah, I see things. And I have high... Thing. So when they do this thing, you see this person, for instance, if he gets his job after three, four years, after that experience, he can go to the technical university and do a top-up, maybe two years. They will assess him. They will look at the technical skills and then they will look at the certification he did at ATTC or Technical, technical Institute. That's how you started. Okay? And then he got a job, now he's on his own. And, or he can go straight to the university. Uh, there's a gen so this is one example. I have hired one person, so I know what I'm talking about. He started this way. Then I have somebody who went to uh, tech uh, technical, technical Institute again and did electrical works, okay, certification. Went through it, piled up the certificate. Got a job at the uh, uh, Minerals Commission Takwa office. We actually even took him. I didn't know. They took him as a security officer. So when we're doing the assessment, and then when I check his assessment, I realize that he has done this electrical stuff. Uh, to the extent that the district inspector confided me that, oh, any electrical job at the office, there, he fixed it, so they don't go outside. Then I said, what, what are you talking about? So I checked, I asked for his CV, I looked at it. Then I spoke to the vice chancellor of the university, Yuma. They also spoke to Takwadi Technical uh, uh, University. Both have offered him an, uh, uh, what do you call it, admission. So we are fully, we paid the, uh, what do you call it, the three years for him. He's going to do a top up. He's on full scholarship. He doesn't come to work. After that, he'll get a BSc in electrical engineering. And then he'll become an inspector for electrical at the mine. You understand that? Whilst people who have read sociology, history, uh, and archaeology and co are in the house. I'm not saying we don't need this thing, but I'm saying when we take about 40 or 30, uh, what do you call it, technicians, and then those police staff, engineering, they will train one sociologist. That's how it should, it should be, not the other way around. Mm. Yes. Most likely, these guys who have gone to the trade school, when they walk into the mine, they stand the high chance of being high as compared to those of us who have degree in the humanities and social sciences. But here's a problem, and it's a hard and bitter truth. I think most Ghanaians don't want this kind of thing. Everybody wants his or her son, okay, his, you know, to go to university. To go to university. I have a son in secondary school, okay, two of them. Because I understand, when they finish now, I will not be too, uh, you know, obsessed with their fatherhood. They should also go to the university and study law like me. If they get very good grades and they want to go and do engineering, which I'm pumping into their head because they are good in physics and mathematics, so be it. But after the secondary school, I, for example, don't mind taking them to some of these technical institutes. 
to go and do two, three years. Okay? Then after that, they can get a job at their mind. I know what I'm talking about. After three, four years, they will go into the university to go and do a top-up. Now, by the time his classmates who left secondary school and went to the university straight to Had go and do engineering, out. by the time you pass, you pass out with his BSc engineering, he, this man has done two years trade school and then two years job at the mine. You will now start maybe middle level. He will go for top up. He will always be ahead of you. More trade schools is what we yes. need. Yes. Let's wrap no, this no up. No more trade school. Oh, we have oh, the today. trade schools already. They've been there. It's just that people need to get this kind of education and, and let them understand that the technical certificate, okay, those courses, let me repeat, particularly the three in the three, the technicals, these mm -hmm. are the three key areas that mining people want. Those into those welding and mechanical stuff, welding and fabrication, welding and fabrication, mechanical, then electrical. This because they do other things like auto, uh, fashion design, and all those things. But these are the three key areas among the technical programs that most likely you stand the chance of being hired in mind if you do these mechanical courses, welding and, and fabrication, fabrication and, electrical. and electrical opportunities yes there. and then and then after that you can do a top up either the technical university or the degree i have so many inspectors who started life this way and that is a way to go mm -hmm. but everybody wants his or her daughter to go to university so we have we've done skill sets today or one part of the skill set today where it relates to the trade and apprenticeship model and opportunities for those who study welding and fabrication mechanical and electrical um, certificates in these fields would get your foot in the door to get you a job at the mines even with a, a jhs certification and then a, a, an, an added certificate in welding fabrication mechanical and engineering get your foot in the door in mining in the, in the weeks ahead we'll be discussing more of how you can get yourself a mining job if you do not even have a degree today you know one way how you can do that, and that is to just get a certificate. Advert has been read to us about a, a, a mining company, a prominent mining company, just looking for someone with a, a certificate in mechanical. A mechanical certificate is all you need to get your foot in the door. Opportunities for you to develop also exist. CEO of the Minerals Commission, Mr. Martin Kwekweisi, sitting with us once again. Mr. Isi, thank you so much for the time. Next week, we'll be back to continue yes. the chat. And you can mm -hmm. connect to the Minerals Commission across their social media platforms. Just look for Minerals Commission Ghana on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. The only CEO who gives his number out for you to reach out to him, you can get through to him as well, and they will answer all your questions.